If your beard is a bit prickly, there are a few things that you can do about it. Even my beard that's a little bit longer can get a little bit prickly along the top mustache, along the line here. And there are a few things you can do such as growing it out, trimming less regularly, using products like shea butter, coconut oil, or a beard conditioner. And in this video, I'm gonna go through all of the little tips and tricks for short and long beards that you can use to make sure that your beard is kissable, soft, and not super prickly. No one likes that. If this video is useful to you, please remember to give it a thumbs up and also go check out the article that this video is based on. The link is in the description on beardgrowingpro.com and on that website, you will find so much information. I am answering every single beard question that could ever be answered. That's my mission, go check it out. When your beard is prickly and when you want to solve that prickliness, essentially you are solving three major issues. The first one is the thickness of the hair and the sharpness at the end of the hair. Now when a hair naturally grows on your face, it tapers to a natural point and that point is soft and flexible. But when we start kind of trimming our hairs, we can cut off that natural taper and that's what makes it particularly prickly. If you are shaving, you can actually shave it at an angle, you can trim it at an angle where it creates like a little needle-like point and the prickliness is inversely proportional to the length, which means that it is incredibly prickly if the hair is short. So I noticed that the prickliness kind of appears around my mustache and stuff, but not so much around my jawline and the chin where, you know, it's much longer and there's a lot more flexibility. So um, those two combinations essentially can make a beard very, very prickly. So we either want to get it longer, we either want to get it shorter, but we want to make sure that the ends are not as spiky or as kind of cut off and we're trying to emulate that natural taper. And there is a product which allows you to do that, which we'll talk about in later on in the video. Um, the second thing I find that makes my beard particularly prickly is if I recently trim it and that like like I said, cuts off the natural taper, but also I find that there are a ton of like hairs left over in my beard um, after trimming and they kind of like get my neck and everything. So maybe that's what you're experiencing. And uh, there are a few things that you can do to make sure that your beard hasn't got all the like kind of cut off bits stuck in there and uh, really sort of affecting the, the prickliness of the beard. And the third reason and the most important reason I think is that your beard can be dry. A dry beard can actually have um, a very kind of like harsh and wiry texture. And so uh, keeping it well conditioned, no matter what the length, even if you have like a stubble beard, can actually really help the prickliness and uh, overcome any sort of uh, spiky issues that you are facing. So without further ado, let's get into how you can solve a prickly beard by tackling those three specific problems. Guess what? You are right. One of the first things you can do is grow it out. Ah, this channel wouldn't be the same without that recommendation, pretty much for every beard problem. And so now, uh, if your beard is particularly prickly, now growing it out only works if you're noticing it is prickly at a shorter length. Growing it out means that your beard is kind of uh, less structurally rigid, so that when you push on it, you know, it has some flexibility, it moves around. Whereas shorter hairs, like up on my cheek where I shave regularly, the hairs there are very prickly because they're short and they don't uh, move when I touch them. They just kind of are still. And you know, you're trying to get away from these so-called chode hairs where they're thicker than they are long. Um, and that's what really makes them super prickly. So the longer you can get, the longer aspect ratio um, you can get for your beard, the better. And if you don't want a longer beard, what I recommend you do is you keep it shorter but you use um, like a softening product. And that softening product can be a conditioner, it can be a balm, it can be a single product. We'll go through those later on in the video. Um, but yeah, you know, getting rid of prickliness, even like after, let's say five hours after shaving, your beard can still be prickly because first of all, you've cut the hairs at an angle and they're just poking out from beyond the skin, which means they do not move when you touch them. They do not yield to any pressure. They just act like little needles. And so really shaving close to the skin regularly is the only way to keep a super short beard, um, you know, complete, well, you, I guess you're getting rid of a beard at that point, aren't you? Um, but yeah, that's the only way to kind of combat a really prickly short 
short beard. Um, otherwise, you've got to grow it out. Why not? Beards are awesome. Why wouldn't you want to grow your beard out? One of my little secrets that I love are dedicated beard conditioners. One of my favorites, and you can tell by how well used this one is, I actually just finished this recently, um, is Blue Beard's original Beard Saver. I love it. Um, I picked it up in Texas when I was there ages ago um, before COVID. And this lasted me a long time because I, you know, you can use it sparingly, but this Beard Saver um, is fantastic. And there are plenty of other beard conditioners on the market. Find one that works well for you. I really like the fact that this is kind of like a nice cream. It's got some oils in it. It smells really nice, like a bit citrusy. Um, and it really helps kind of soften all sorts of beard prickliness issues. And so getting a dedicated beard conditioner in uh, in sort of like place of a beard balm, which contains wax, um, but you know, adding it to your toolkit is really important. So do check out Blue Beard's Beard Saver. I do really like it, um, but I'm sure there are plenty of other kind of butters and stuff on the market that are just as good at um, softening up your beard. So yes, don't uh, forget about a dedicated beard conditioner and these work for uh, any length of beards and uh, the longer the more it's going to need and add it to your kit. The fourth thing that I think you can do to make a beard less prickly is essentially trim it up less regularly. Now I do a reasonably large trim up, trim up every two weeks on my beard where I clean up this line, I clean up the lines here, and I just take a tiny bit off, because I'm still kind of semi-growing my beard out. I'm letting it grow, so I want to take off less than um, I'm allowing it to grow. So if you want to know about how I do that, check out my other article where, you know, how to trim a beard if you're growing it out. And I've also got a video, I'll link it here somewhere. Um, but essentially, yes, trim less regularly. Every fortnight is enough for me to be able to trim get rid of the kind of prickly, uh, well, yeah, prickliness, um, and also um, allow my beard to grow at the same time. So trim less regularly. Two reasons for that is because, first of all, all of the different um, beard trimmers that I've used, you know, they just throw the hair everywhere. And you can't kind of get away from that. I even find a couple days after, sometimes when I've really trimmed up under here, I can find little hairs just still up there. And they are actually very prickly because they're kind of little cut off hairs and they get into my clothes and then they they sort of like stab at me when I'm walking around during the day and I find them and I pull them out. Anyway, so trimming less regularly means you're going to have less of these kind of stray needle-like hairs all over the place. I believe even hairdressers get hair splinters from uh, cut hairs because they're just so... Um, they're so sharp and with regular rubbing, they can work their way into the skin. So definitely trimming less regularly means you can have less those around, but also trimming gets rid of weathered ends. Now this is a really kind of like weird balancing point for me. Yes, you don't want your, weird, your, your beard to have these weathered ends. You don't want them to be dry and have split ends because you know then the damage migrates down the shaft and, and causes more of issues for your beard. But at the same time, if you cut off the weathered ends that have been softened a little bit, that makes your beard extra prickly. And I certainly find that uh, the day after trimming up my beard every fortnight, I find that yes, even if I push against it, I know it's an even sort of like more prickly nature to my beard. So uh, removing the weathered ends is important, but if you're finding that it's super prickly, just, you know, every couple of weeks, trim it back and uh, it may help because you're gonna have more time in between trims for those ends to soften up and not be so kind of like dead end or, or needle-like. And uh, yeah, that can make a very long beard prickly as well. If I'm ever in doubt, I always turn to single ingredient um, kind of uh, interventions for my beard. And my favorite ones are, I've got them here, coconut oil. I love using a little bit of coconut oil. Um, it, it's a solid oil, but you kind of warm it up in your hands and then you just rub it through. And a deep hydration treatment every week or so really works with that. And I just leave it in um, and uh, yeah, it's fantastic. Raw organic coconut oil, 
Um, just put it in your beard is brilliant. And there was a 2015 study that I found. So, you know, I'm a scientist and I'm like, does this actually work? And they found that coconut oil actually penetrates very deeply into the hair. So I was like, I'm sold, I'm gonna use this. The second thing is, and I've talked about this before, is shea butter. I love shea butter. Just get the raw ingredient. Um, it's really inexpensive. You can buy it on eBay or Amazon. And uh, just using shea butter is fantastic if you've got longer hair. Once again, warm it up in the palm of your hands, put it through your beard, beautiful. Now, if you've got a shorter beard, and it's still prickly, and you wanna keep it short, but you don't want it to be as prickly, there is a softening pad called the Soft Goat. I'll put an image of it here and a link in the description. But uh, this is fantastic for just kind of acting like a micro abrasion for, remember I said about sort of weathered ends, it just speeds up that, that end weathering. It takes off the sharp points of the of the beard hair, which means that they're nice and more rounded than they would be if you they were freshly cut or trimmed. And so using this pad, just little light circular motions on the skin will and and the hair will um, just sort of like round off the sharpness. And uh, if you've got a short beard, I think uh, it really will make your beard much much soft, softer. So go check it out. So there we have it. There are the four ways that you can tackle the three prickly beard problems. Let me know in the comments what you would add and I shall see you in the next video. Remember to give me a thumbs up if this was helpful.